Rumble. Rumble, rumble, rumbers. Okay. So Rumble is once again under assault, but this time it's globally. We've seen them under attack from Congress. We've seen them under attack before from France and the UK that have demanded some type of censorship, though they won't say exactly what. The other day we see Chris Pavlovsky, he's the CEO of Rumble, who's announcing that Rumble has received censorship demands from Australia, New Zealand, and other countries that infringe on everyone's human rights. Not good. Okay, we are noticing a dramatic increase in global censorship unlike anything we've seen before. And we've seen this guy before, Michael Schellenberger, and he's got a eek look. Um, Chris then says that it's the worst I've seen it. First France, then Brazil. We think we talked about how Brazil made a demand. We watched Michael Schellenberger's Vaguely, video yeah. about that. Okay. <laughs> With Twitter files, Brazil. That they aptly named or <laughs> however. And then uh, we've got State Department needs to intervene ASAP. Come on, Chris. Come on, man. And now all you see is the people go, the state, this is me, the State Department is leading it, Chris. Come on. Uh, then you see mm -hmm. Steve B. on the warpath, whoever that is. I off the reservation American Indian. All right. Again, U.S. government's driving it. Biden administration's behind it all. There's a lot of sentiment like that in the replies. Um, somebody else who had something to say here. Somebody you all may know, a guy named Jimmy Dore. Um, he says, when Jimmy I was a kid, Dore. yeah, quote, when I was a kid, I was told only dictators and authoritarian government censored citizen speech. Now half the Western world is on board and half the people in America are enthusiastic about censorship. And that's what we've got going on here. And then we've got people in the replies, some people who, who we know, friends of ours, some people who we have been kind of going back and forth with about a bunch of things. Um, but Putin, that's exactly what I wanted to show right there. But Putin, no. of course. F thing, F. Well, yeah, I know. Well, it's, you know. So it's the five eyes. They don't, they're coming for all the platforms that five can potentially. No, no, not, not five guys. Five eyes. <laughs> all right. So the five eyes, burger, five, no, not five eyes, burgers and fries. See, now you got me thinking burgers. <laughs> all right. But no, five, five eyes are the, uh, the NATO, you know, the, the U.S., Australia, U.K., New Zealand. Who's the fifth? Oh, Israel, Celtics. of course. Of course, uh. Israel. Um, no, not the Boston no, Celtics. No, no we don't big, have them. They're the not big included. Five. They're not in the big five okay. either. Um, mm. So he puts up a, uh, a Jimmy, you know, a George Orwell quote about free speech is unthinkable. All other kinds of freedom are permitted. You are free to be a drunkard, an idler, a coward, a backbiter, a fornicator, but you're not free to think for yourself. Um, this is in the context of censorship happening and clamping down worldwide. We're also starting to see it and, and an infiltration of bots over on Substack and in notes and in comments and in the chats. There seems to be an increase especially in the Matt Taibbi style chat chat rooms to the point where today I noticed that he turned it on that the only people that can start a new thread in his Substack chat are founding members. And you got to spend a couple of hundred bucks a year to be a founding member, I believe. Mm. So they're coming for rumble. Why? You know, they don't like what's being said on Rumble. They don't like the fact that the global, you know, corporate enterprise is being called out. But at the same time, it's mostly Fox News and right-wing personalities that are on Rumble. They're trying to get more gamers. They're trying to get, but the large political influence, and now they're even making it impossible to donate politically. They are making some really good moves. They announced that they're having their um, creators round three. And if you're not following Chris Pavlovsky, 
he is he has been like fighting for free speech. He has been taking a stand. Okay. So people are asking that he publish the letters that are being sent to him. Now he's saying again, the US State Department needs to immediately intervene and protect US companies and interests. He's not they're not going to. They're they're behind this. All right? Yeah. And then um He's saying if China blocks and prohibits Rumble because they see free speech as a weapon, why should we allow TikTok China. to operate freely in our market? Well, because number one, TikTok is mostly run by 60% owned by large conglomerate global corporations uh, and run through Oracle servers in the United States. So mm -hmm. to be clear, he's formulating his opinion. Chris, this is happening on Rumble now. So if you happen to tune in and listen, and I hope you do. Um, yes, the CEO of Num of Rumble can't be this naive, is what Angel Rivera, uh, host of Angel in the Afternoon. Congrats on episode fifty, my brother, and episode ten of the Pro Wrestling Talk with Miss Witchy Perfect, which happened on Saturday night. I, I kind of agree there. I get that he sees the State Department or whoever as trying to protect American interests, but they don't work for us, and we know that. All right. Um, he, he was sad to see the closure of live space. All right, so let me go back into the comments here. And this is where I know somebody was was demanding. Now, first of all, very nice that Odyssey stepped up and said that they're building decentralized tech, and that's very nice. Somebody said that there's, see, that there's Google ownership involved with Odyssey. If so, that's a big yikes. All right. Um it's not it's not YouTube if if this is lagging, it's actually so I said we're gonna talk about this tonight and drop the link in. So hopefully our friend Chris would would see it at some point. Thank you, Chris. If you if you look, man, he's standing up for free speech, but somebody was demanding and saying, Well, why don't you publish out and call out the governments and publish the letters of what you're being here? Why are governments getting so much Maybe more aggressive? Gag orders or whatever? Right. Maybe. And the answer was that that usually these come with gag orders if you want to, um, it, you know, if it, for the lawsuits and everything else. So um, why are they getting more aggressive? Why? Because their narrative is being challenged. They got exposed big time on COVID. It, safe and effective, safe and effective. They got exposed big time on Ukraine. Oh, Ukraine's really winning. Ukraine's doing great. Everything's great. Nothing to see here. All right, they they've been exposed once again when it comes to Israel Palestine, and they've been trying to censor an entire narrative completely out. And it's not a narrative; it's the truth. So that their lie of a narrative is what ends up getting published as the truth because it's all about legend. And okay, free speech is scary to liberals because it destroys their faulty beliefs. Again, you see a lot of conservative responses in here. All right. Is Rumble considering publishing a regular report on such government requests, even without going into specifics? Maybe the number they're getting and number of videos and channels targeted. I think that's a great suggestion there from the crypt cryptic hybrid, honestly. All right. Um, but once more, you've got the entire world really coming after Rumble. From, once again, France and Brazil, to now you've got more countries, Australia and New Zealand, and other countries. Now, I don't know if necessarily, they don't necessarily have the same kind of free speech, freedom of the press laws that we do here. So they have more control over what's said by Rumble, and Rumble kind of has to play ball with them if they want to operate there. And so what did they do when it came to France? They pulled out. They said, we're not going to do it. We're not going to succumb to, to your censorship demands. And we still don't know what they what they were demanded. But um Hey, uh, phrasing. Succumb. 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 Yes. To no, give in. You said they, they pulled out. Well, that too. Uh, don't worry about it. Well, they did. They They exited France. <laughs> nope. Sorry, okay. children. So but again, it's not just YouTube. Uh, it's not. It's not just 
Rumble they're coming after. They're still censoring people on YouTube. They're still censoring people on Substack. And then we're going to talk about what, what's happening over on Facebook in a minute. Um, if you have, <laughs> well, we've had plenty of longies. But if you have not already and you are of a means and able to and are getting value here, we do this on a volunteer basis and on a user-funded basis. So whatever you can do to help us, there are some ways to support monthly subscriptions on Patreon, Substack, one-time donations on Rumble, Cash App, and then we're going to put up a QR code, which already is up or was up. Uh, and here. There we go. That's for Jesse's computer fund. Probably Mac hooked us up on Friday night on the Jesse stream. And uh, and we're at 47% right now. We're almost halfway to our $1,000 goal to help Jesse there. Uh, we'll get to Jesse coming to New York City. I know we talked about that last week. So, 